back to another video. Behind me is a brand new Porsche Taycan. If you look right there, it's in this beautiful blue color, brand new. Now this is a regular spec. It's not a 4S, a Turbo, or a Turbo S. This is what you get for right around eighty thousand um, dollars before any type of market adjustment. Now this one's probably spec with some options. Uh, check it out and uh, see what this Taycan is all about. Of course, this is the electric car from Porsche. So uh, let's check it out. Let's check out the exterior. Let's check out the interior. And of course, there's no exhaust to sound, is there? Uh, no exhaust, no engine. But we'll go over the electric powertrain and see uh, what all Porsche has put in the Porsche Taycan. But uh, let's start with the exterior. Of course, the exterior, you have Porsche sign signature X style lights. Uh, you just saw them blink right there. Uh, of course LED swiveling, everything like that. You have some functional air curtains on the side, of course, just to keep the car nice and cool. Uh, of course you see that blue color. It looks really good. I really like that blue color. It's a very mean looking car. Uh, down there you have all the sensors and cameras and integrated parking sensors for, of course, all the safety technology that Porsche has put. Now you have that beautiful Porsche emblem right there. I just want to show you guys that under the sun. Porsche with the Stuttgart right there. A beautiful emblem um, but coming around the side profile now the Porsche Taycan does have a almost like a coupe like side profile right there you can see it's very coupified kind of similar to the Panamera but I really like those wheels of course they're wrapped in Pilot Sport 4 rubber because this is a performance car um, coming right here to the door there's how you charge it you have your charging indicator and things like that now this side does not have any type of DC which you'll see on the other side actually but uh, here is just the AC side uh, you have electric, of course, because this is obviously electric. Uh, nice mirror caps right there. Again, the silhouette is really, really nice. Um, there's not any type of sunroof on this one. Or is there? No, there is. It's actually just very well integrated. You can see the whole roof is black, but you can't tell right here. It's very, very slight. You have to look. So there is a sunroof on here. Uh, there's the back window. Very nice. You have that uh, speed deploying uh, spoiler in the back, which will deploy once you get to right around 80 miles an hour. Uh, you have that light bar with a Porsche right there. We'll check that out in a minute. But overall, you have your Taycan badging right there, integrated parking sensors. But overall, from the outside, the Porsche Taycan is an awesome looking vehicle. Now let's hop inside and uh, see all the goodies of the Porsche Taycan. Okay, so of course, to um, the Porsche Taycan getting inside, you have that signature Porsche key fob right here, kind of shaped like a car, unlock, lock, front trunk. Speaking of that front trunk, let's go ahead and hop up front and we'll kind of check out the front trunk. So of course you unlock it, the front trunk opens right up. There's a latch right here. Simple as that. So of course on hydraulic struts this is a uh, premium car. Now everything is sealed under plastic. Of course that's all the electrical components of this car. But here you have a very decently sized trunk. I'm actually quite happy with this. If you want to take a look inside the trunk and just see all the LED lighting and stuff that's present. You can see that there's a lot of LED lighting in there just to brighten it up. There's a good amount of space, all felt line, of course. Uh, here you have your windshield filler. There's your latch right there. But overall, there's nothing too exciting under here, so, but a great amount of space. Now, um, closing this up right here, a uh, neat thing with the front trunk of the Porsche, uh, you have to like lightly tap it right here and then use your palms right here and close it right up. That way you don't break anything because this is a very fragile electrically assisted assembly. Now over here, let me show you how these door handles work on the Porsche Taycan. If you come over here, so right here you have your door handles, of course. Now there's a ridge right there. You push it, the door handles will come flush with the car, of course, just to provide a little bit more aerodynamic efficiency. Now if you want to get in, all you do is put your hand under here. They come to meet you, and it opens right up. So let me go ahead and open the door for you guys. If you guys want to hop inside, I'll show you guys all the interior goodies. Actually, before we hop inside, one more thing, one more little gimmick for you. Come right here. You've been wondering, Chris, didn't you, didn't you just show me the uh, electric door on the other side? Well, there's a second one. Remember I told you guys about that DC fast charge? Well, there you go. Here's your DC fast charger. So this can actually charge roughly right as fast as most Tesla superchargers can. So the people who are going around saying, oh, I wouldn't buy the Porsche Taycan because I'm losing out in the supercharger network and how fast it charges. It's totally wrong. This DC fast charge is capable of just as fast as Tesla's. 
It's crazy. So anybody who says that a Porsche Taycan is because of the charging, you won't get it. Disagree. Hop inside. Let me show you around. Welcome to the Porsche Taycan. Just closing the door right here. All very solid, of course. Now here you have soft touch all the way up here, of course. Um, you have some nice trim all around here. You have some more of that nice trim speaker right there. This just has the uh, standard Bose sound system that comes with the Porsche Taycan. Now coming up here, all leather stitch, all nice switch gear, of course. Now, the main thing you may be wondering is the gauges. So let me go ahead and take over the camera right there. Popping up to the gauges right here. Um, you can see this is surrounding. So you have some touchscreen control right here for your fog lights, your lights, and your auto lights, and everything like that. Now here you have a very adjustable screen. It kind of like wraps around the steering wheel right there. Um, speaking of the steering wheel and how it looks and everything, it's a very nice steering wheel, very tight. I love Porsche steering wheels. They're very, the grip is nice. That uh, airbag cover right there. Everything's very tasteful right there. Um, the screen and everything you see the gauges are very nice here. You have the Porsche uh, Infotainment system of course you have all your standard modes You have a lot more modes for the electric drivetrain of the Porsche Taycan. I really like how Porsche uh, really organizes all of their uh, Things for the infotainment system it looks very nice. looks very neat. They do a great job with that, all that It's pretty park right there. So uh, you have your map and everything like that in the upper screen Now this one doesn't have a secondary screen of any type which is fine Here's your climate control. Of course, you have a nice Taycan spelled out right there. You have your controls for your AC, uh, your heated, cooled seats, everything like that, your sport mode. You can turn on and off this entire thing and adjust everything like that. Coming down here, you do have a cup holder. You can hold a water bottle pretty well. You have a center console right here, which uh, yep, is really, really weird. Some storage in there with some uh, USBs and things like that. Now, hopping over to the roof, you can see the panoramic moonroof right there. You have those back seats. Of course, they're in a sports style now. The legroom is not the absolute best back there, but it's decent for what it is. You do have a center armrest back there. But overall, the interior of the Porsche Taycan is not a bad place to spend time at all. Wraps up my review of this 2021 Porsche Taycan. Of course, I really am impressed with this. I really think it gives the Tesla Model S some really strong competition. Uh, the Porsche Taycan is no slouch, of course. You can get upper models going to 0.16. 2.4 seconds in the Turbo S. It's crazy. So of course you have the Porsche Taycan right here. A big thank you to, for letting me use this vehicle. I really appreciate it. But um, overall, that wraps up my video on the Porsche Taycan. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.